Hey everyone, my name is Mirai and welcome to the introductory video for setting up the pro system for use with IS Boxer 42. Now, before we begin, I'd like to say that I put a lot of work into the original pro system video series for IS Boxer 41. And honestly, not much has changed with the update to 42. But because there is some confusion in the initial setup since that update, I decided to make an updated video. What this means is that videos 2 through 4 in the series are going to be left as is, and only this introductory video as well as the final demonstration video are going to be replaced. So, with that said, let's get started. In this series, I'm going to be covering what's commonly referred to as the Pro Config, but is also known as the Pro System, Pro Setup, MMO Pro, and IS Boxer Like a Pro. In this video, I'm going to be giving an overview on how to set up the system from scratch, as well as a few extra tidbits of information along the way. Now, this setup is currently considered the most advanced setup that IS Boxer has to offer for MMORPGs, and it allows for an immense amount of customization, as well as flexibility when it comes to management of your characters and teams. There's definitely nothing novice or beginner about the pro system, and if you're unfamiliar with how Ice Boxer works, or just multiboxing in general, then it's likely that this series is going to be difficult to follow along with. But check the description for numerous links which might help clear up any confusion. Now, when first delving into the pro system, I will recommend that you are starting with a fresh profile. If you need to back up your current profile, then you can use File and then Save As, afterwards File and then Clear to start fresh. You can always copy things back over from your other profile at a later time if you'd like. Now, using the Quick Setup Wizard is the exact same up until the final step, so that's where we'll begin. Near the top, you'll see the MMO Standard Template, and that's what is normally selected. We want to change this to MMO Pro. After doing so, absolutely nothing will seemingly change, at least not until we're done with the wizard. So, set any hotkeys that you need to, either in the General Hotkeys section at the top or down below in the MMO Party Mechanics section, and when you're finished with all of that, go ahead and hit the Finish button. IS Boxer will create its standard set of key maps, and since we chose the MMO Pro template, it will also create Virtual Combat and Combat Hotkeys, and before moving forward, we will want to make some manual changes to all of this. So, right off the bat, we can delete Combat Broadcast, and Combat Broadcast Hotkeys. And we can also delete Custom Hotkeys. Technically, you can leave the Custom Hotkeys key map if you're going to use it for something. Personally, I won't be using it any time throughout this video series, so it is being deleted. I'm also going to rearrange these key maps because I have OCD. Whether you do the same or not is entirely up to you. Okay, next we can move into the Toggles key map and open up the Activate Maps All Windows Mapped key. In step one, you'll see some entries that show as no key map. However, if you didn't delete the custom hotkeys key map, then one of these two entries will be for that and it can be left alone. But we will want to assign the no key map action to the combat hotkeys key map. I'll also delete this unneeded unassigned action. Then in step two, we will do the exact same thing. All right, well, that's everything we needed to change. So back to the pro system. Now the pro system has four different sections that you'll want to be familiar with. Combat hotkeys, virtual combat, character level virtualization assignments, and the class specific key maps. Now I don't currently have any class specific key maps and that's because I need to create them myself. Normally you'll have class key maps available for all the characters you expect to be playing, but looking at my current list of characters, I'm just going to pick the Paladin to start off with. Now in World of Warcraft, a Paladin isn't just a Paladin, they're either a Protection Paladin, or a Retribution Paladin, or a Holy Paladin. And these subclasses are what is known as your Specialization, or Spec for short. That means I want to create one key map for each spec that this character can be in-game. And doing so is as easy as making three copies of Virtual Combat, and then renaming them accordingly. Now, of course, there will be nothing unique about these three key maps at the moment because they're straight up copies, but we'll change that in a bit. I'll also mention that if the game you're setting this up for doesn't have multiple subclasses or specs like World of Warcraft does, then you'll only need to create one key map for every class that is available, or at least the ones that you expect to be playing. For example, a complete set of class key maps for a World of Warcraft profile might look something like this, whereas a profile for EverQuest won't have nearly as many. Okay, so let's look at these two new wizard-generated key maps, Combat Hotkeys and Virtual Combat. 
Now, Combat Hotkeys is going to act as a universal key map that houses the hotkeys you'll be using to perform actions on your characters. And you can think of these situational map keys listed here as those actions. This list of map keys isn't set in stone, but I won't be going over how to adjust or customize any of these in this video. And since I'm going to be roughly demonstrating how this system works, I am going to assign a hotkey to the DPS rotation mapped key. Now, if I expand this mapped key to see what it does, I can see that it's linked to itself in the virtual combat key map. In fact, all of these mapped keys are. So DPS rotation is being told to execute a mapped key named DPS rotation in the virtual combat key map. And if we move over to the virtual combat key map, we can see that there is the exact same set of mapped keys in here as well. The structure of these mapped keys is important, and that's why you're going to see them laid out like this everywhere you look. But I'll talk more about this later on in the video. Now, the best way that I can think to describe what the virtual combat key map is used for is that it's a bridge. It acts as the link between combat hotkeys and your individual character's actions in game. What you might find odd is that none of these mapped keys have any actions directly tied to them, and as you can see, DPS rotation is completely empty. For now, that might seem confusing, but it should make sense after you see how it's all tied together. Okay, so next on the list are the character level assignments, and that means we'll want to assign these paladin specific key maps to my paladin character, and any other paladin character that I might have in my eyes box or character list. We don't want to assign these to the entire character set because that assigns them to every character in that character set. And I don't want my paladin abilities tied to my shaman, my mage, or any other non-paladin class. So after that, we need to move over to the virtual mapped keys tab so that we can assign this character to their specialization. Now this is a crucial step and one that is generally overlooked or forgotten about, but if you remember from a moment ago, the mapped keys in the virtual combat key map had no actions in them. And that's because they're going to be virtualized into the mapped keys that are found within the class specific key map. Virtualized meaning turned into. This happens because of what we set up right here in the virtual mapped keys tab. So on the left hand side, we need to assign the key map that we want to virtualize. And in this case, that's virtual combat. It's conveniently named that so that you know to virtualize it. And when virtualizing a key map, you leave the mapped key field blank. Then, on the right-hand side, we want to point to the key map that Virtual Combat should turn into for this particular character. Well, my Paladin has three options, Protection, Retribution, and Holy. In-game, Debonair is currently using the Protection spec, so I'll assign the Protection Paladin class key map. Remember, there's nothing unique about this key map at the moment, but I'm going to select it anyway and continue going through the motions. Now, finally, I'm going to move down to my class key maps and show how one might have this set up. I'm not setting up anything real until the next video, but I'm trying to give you an idea on how this all works. So let's say that in game on my Paladin, I have three macros, one for tanking in my protection spec, one for dishing out damage in my retribution spec, and one for healing in my holy spec. We'll say that these three macros are bound to shift one, shift two, and shift three respectively. Now I'll go into each of these three class key maps and assign DPS rotation a basic keystroke action. So shift one for my protection macro. Shift two for my retribution macro. And shift three for my holy macro. Now what you might notice is that I'm using a target of window current for all of these actions. And at this point of the setup, in the class key maps, you always want to be using a target of window current. This is because you're only ever accounting for the character that this key map is attached to, even if there happen to be multiple characters in your character set who are all assigned to the same class specific key map, since they will each need to activate it individually. If you ever need to set up a special target for just melee, just ranged, or whatever else, then you would set that up in the combat hotkeys key map, but I'll touch more on that in the third video of this series. So now these three key maps are unique since the DPS rotation mapped key is doing something different in each of them. If I was to export my settings now and press two on my keyboard to execute the DPS rotation mapped key, my paladin is going to be sent shift one because I assigned him to the protection key map. If this is still confusing, then let me break this down. Okay, so you've got your combat hotkeys key map and this is where it starts since this is where you assign your initial hotkeys. Hotkeys being the keys that you are physically pressing on your keyboard. 
as I showed before, it's linked to the Virtual Combat key map. Remember, nothing actually happens inside of Virtual Combat, but Iceboxer needs it there as part of his virtualization process. After that comes the character level virtualization assignment, where you assign your character their class specific key map on the Virtual Map Keys tab. This is, of course, then linked to the class key map that you just assigned, and this is where Virtual Combat will get turned into the key map that you specify. Then, finally, in the class key map is where the keys or macros get sent to your character. When everything is laid out like this, you get a better idea for why each section keeps the same naming structure of mapped keys. It's necessary for the virtualization in IS Boxer to work correctly, but it also makes it easy to trace what's going on throughout the process. If each map key was named something different in each section, not only would it not make sense visually, but internally, Iceboxer wouldn't be able to process it. And this is why I made copies of the virtual combat key map when creating my class specific key maps, so that I could easily keep the same naming structure of mapped keys. So at this point, when you export your settings, Iceboxer takes this information you've given it and essentially transforms it into a basic mapped key with a simple keystroke action. Now it's completely understandable that when you look at this system from the standpoint of a single character, it looks unnecessarily complex to set up this entire process just to accomplish the same thing that a basic keystroke action can do all by itself. But you've got to look beyond a single character. With this system, you're assigning rotations to each of your characters rather than your entire character set. And what this does is it removes the identity from your character set and attaches it to each individual character. No longer do you need to create and maintain numerous character sets and a multitude of mapped keys in order to account for each possible combination of classes that you may want to run together. With this system, you're able to swap characters around in your character set, re-export, and Iceboxer will recreate that basic mapped key, so to speak, based on the new information you've given it. This cuts down on the potential time wasted, ensuring that all of your mapped keys and all of your actions are set up properly to handle the new character that you just swapped in. And this makes it much, much easier to keep track of which character is supposed to be doing what. All right, so now that you've been completely overloaded with all of this new information, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to configure one more character from scratch. I've already gone ahead and created some class specific key maps for my shaman by just copying the virtual combat key map as before and renaming them. Not only do I prefer to use virtual combat for this because it keeps the naming structure of the mapped keys intact, but there are no actions assigned in any of the mapped keys, which makes it easy to just start adding in your own stuff. So first I'm going to go into combat hotkeys and I'm going to set a hotkey for the AOE DPS rotation mapped key. Then I'm going to move over to my shaman character. I'm going to assign those shaman specific key maps to her. And then in the virtual mapped keys tab, I'm going to set up a virtual key map and assign her to the enhancement shaman key map. Now, just to be clear, Iceboxer doesn't know what an elemental shaman is, or an enhancement shaman, or a restoration shaman. The only way it knows what spec I am is because I select it here from this list. But these key maps are labeled this way so that I can differentiate between them, so that I can set up rotations based on my spec. And they could be called ABZ921 for all Iceboxer cares, but an efficient labeling system goes a long way, especially when you or someone else needs to troubleshoot something that isn't working correctly in your profile. So anyway, because I assigned the Enhancement Shaman key map, I'll move over to that key map and add a keystroke action to my AOE DPS rotation mapped key. I'll assign an arbitrary key combination of Alt-1. Let's just assume that my AOE DPS rotation is bound to Alt-1 on my Shaman character in-game. I'm also going to copy this action, then move over to the Protection Paladin key map, and paste it into the AOE DPS rotation mapped key in here as well. So now if I was to export my settings and press 3 on my keyboard in order to execute the AOE DPS rotation mapped key, both my Paladin and my Shaman are going to be sent Alt-1, just a basic remap of a keystroke. And again, we're assuming that Alt-1 is actually assigned to an AOE DPS rotation of some sort in-game on both characters. So that's all there is to know about how to begin using the Pro system, but let me just touch on one more thing. When it comes to having your teams assist you, the pro system is built around using a separate manual assist. But if you want to integrate assist into your rotations, similar to what can be configured using the standard set of template, then you would add it into the mapped keys found within combat hotkeys and not in the class key maps. I'm going to quickly demonstrate this on the DPS rotation mapped key. And depending on the game, it might need to be tackled a bit differently, but you can simply create a do mapped key action Leave its target set to window current. 
then pointed at the assist map key found in the base hotkeys key map, and finally, ensure that it's at the top of the list. However, the game you're playing might require that this is a two-step process, and in that case, you would need to break these actions up into two separate steps, preferably with the assist in step one. And you can also adjust the mapped key execution to pressed or released if you'd like. Personally, I prefer to use a manual assist so that I have full control over when my team assists me, but both options have their benefits and drawbacks. Finally, before bringing this to a close, I'd like to account for one minor correction that needs to be made in the third video, because as I stated at the beginning, videos two through four in this series are not being redone. In the third video, I talk about the advanced options checkbox found on the final step of the Quick Setup Wizard, and I show what it enables and how to use it. The update to Iceboxer 42 slightly changed the layout of this final step, so rather than there being extra tabs to move between, the settings found on both the control groups and key maps tabs in the third video can be found by just scrolling down on that final step. Otherwise, the information on how to use all of this is exactly the same as explained in the third video of this series. Well, that's it for the introductory video for the pro system for use with ISBoxer 42, and I hope that you're not just sitting there scratching your head wondering what just happened over the past 15 minutes. However, in the next video, I'll be covering several different methods for setting up actual DPS rotations, so hopefully that will give everyone a clearer picture on how this system works. Again, my name is Mirai, thank you for watching, and for any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the ISBoxer forum or the live chat.